Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Programming video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss introduction to Microsoft Visual Studio. What is Microsoft Visual Studio? Microsoft Visual Studio is a fully featured software package which supports more than 30 programming languages including most popular languages like C++, C Sharp, VB.NET, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc, etc, etc. When you install Microsoft Visual Studio software package in your computer system, it installs two components. They are Visual Studio IDE and .NET Framework. Visual Studio IDE plus .NET Framework, we call it as Visual Studio .NET. Visual Studio IDE is a user interface or developer's interface. Whereas .NET Framework is a runtime environment for Visual Studio applications. Let's understand the Visual Studio IDE first and then we understand later .NET Framework. Visual Studio IDE, as I told, it is a user interface or a developer interface. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It is an environment. Environment stands for integration of variety of software tools meant for specific purpose stands for integration or combination of wide variety of software tools. Visual Studio IDE is a development environment for developing console, windows, web, mobile, embedded robotics applications, simulations, games. With the help of Visual Studio, we can develop wide variety of applications. It is an integrated development environment. As I told, it is integrated with wide variety of softwares. It has editor, IntelliSense, solution explorer, server explorer, object browsers, designers, wide variety of tools are integrated. With the help of editor, we can edit more than 30 programming language codes. With the help of IntelliSense, we can code faster in Visual Studio. It is a code completion component. With the help of Solution Explorer, we can easily weave and manage applications or projects. With the help of Server Explorer, we can easily weave and manage database connections or servers. Object Browser is something like an assembly browser. We have wide variety of tools for different purpose. We are going to look and understand them as and when we need. The latest version of Visual Studio is Visual Studio 2017. But in this video tutorial series, we are going to use Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 for understanding C Sharp because it is the software um, with which I started learning C Sharp and uh, it is comfortable for me to explain C Sharp programming with the help of Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. To launch the Visual Studio IDE, all I need is just double click on the shortcut which is available on the desktop. I double click on it. You can see that Visual Studio IDE is launched. At the top, we have title bar. Below the title bar, we have menu bar. Below the menu bar, we have standard toolbar. On the left hand side, there is a server explorer and a toolbox. On the right hand side, we have solution explorer. We have other panels like team explorer, class weave, etc. And in the middle, we have start page open. Let's understand this UI or IDE. Here at the corner, we have uh, Microsoft Visual Studio icon. You can see that. If I click on that, we get a context menu. With the help of this context menu, we can minimize the IDE. We can um, restore the IDE. In the restore mode, we can change the size. We can increase or decrease the size, width or height. We can uh, maximize the IDE. In the maximize mode, we cannot resize the window. You can see that. If we want, we can close the ID. We can use the shortcut Alt plus F4. Same operations we can perform with the help of these buttons, which we have on the right hand side. Minimize. We can uh, restore. In the restore mode, we can resize the window. Maximize and close. If we want, we can close this ID with the help of close button. And also you can see that in the title bar, it is showing the title of the currently open page. The currently open page title is start page. That is what it is displaying here. And then Microsoft Visual Studio. Below the title bar, we have menu bar. We have file, edit, weave, debug, team, data, tools, architecture, test, analyze, window, help, wide variety of menus. 
in the file menu we get um, options to create a new project if we want we can create a new website we can open already created projects solutions we can open websites a lot of things we can do in the edit menu we get the options related to cut copy paste undo other things in the view menu we can uh, weave the different panels like i can weave the solution explorer or hide i can weave or hide the server explorer so different things and in the debug menu we get uh, debugging related things we have other uh, menus we discuss them as and when we need step by step below the menu bar we have a standard toolbar and there we get options or tools with respect to creating some new project quickly we can create a new website we can uh, open already created projects or solutions we can save cut copy paste most of the time we take help of shortcuts okay on the left hand side we have server explorer where we can manage the database connections sharepoint connections servers etc and in the toolbox we get uh, ui controls which we use most of the time when we develop windows applications web applications or embedded applications we get here visivig controls which we can just drag and drop and uh, create applications rapidly on the right hand side we have a solution explorer there we can uh, weave and manage our solutions or projects or applications easily and um, in the middle as i told we have a start page in the start page we can see we can uh, click on this new project link to create a new project quickly we can open the project in the recent projects uh, section we can see the recently worked uh, projects or open projects and uh, here we get some information regarding the visual studio we get uh, the information how to create uh, applications with visual studio how to extend visual studio we can uh, visit the community forum and uh, we can learn how to create windows applications web applications cloud office sharepoint data applications and we get uh, guidance and resources with respect to design development testing building etc etc and at the bottom we have uh, two check boxes uh, one for controlling close page after the project load that means once the project is loaded whether you want the start page to be closed or not that you can control with the help of this checkbox and show page on startup controls whether this startup page should be shown or visible when we start the visual studio you can see when we started the visual studio or launched the visual studio ide the startup page is visible if you do not want that to be visible you can uncheck this okay show page on startup so this is the brief introduction to the visual studio ide and if i right click here we get a wide variety of software tools that we can show and hide and uh, use them we have uh, class designer we have uh, data design we have database diagrams we can easily create database diagrams we have formatting related things we have image editor layout designing reporting things lot of things uh, are available in this list we can uh, enable them and uh, use them i hope you guys have uh, clearly understood the ui or the developer uh, work area i'm going to close this window in the next video tutorial uh, we are going to understand uh, what is a .net framework in detail and i also paste the link for downloading the visual studio ide in the description video description i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly in the next video tutorial we get more information for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial